Hi everybody, welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, that's Jack. Hello everybody. And you can tell it's the first thing we're recording today because I'm talking way too fast because I have energy because I just woke up and haven't cooked five other meals before this one. No, today we're gonna do a uh, ham and cheese stuff, croissant or crescent rolls to American people. Hi Americans, that's that's how I say it too. It's that flaky croissant, you know, whatever, dude, it's a crescent roll, man. <laughs> so we're gonna get into that. Before we do, be sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the little bell, check us out in the doobly doo, find us on the Instagrams, and let's get into it. So this one's relatively easy, man, and you can kind of splurge on the ham because you're gonna need that. Get you some shitty shiny American cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and the ham, like I said, we, we splurged, we got this on here, it's a big one, you're going to need a roll of this crescent, see it's this crescent, whatever, unless you croissant, whatever, and uh, butter, not going to need all of this, and then you need garlic, and what is that, parsley? Yeah. It's in the parsley, and oregano. It's mandatory, and then we've been asked if we can add oregano and basil. Might as well, don't hurt. So, get out your trusty old cooking sheet, now you can take your butter and rub it down, or you can just, you know. Get you some spray on oil. Just give it a light dust so it doesn't stick. But you're going to put so much butter on this later, you really you yeah, skip it's not the thing. Now, these things, I've never worked with these before. I've always done the biscuits, and I expected them to pop and hit my hand. That's not the thing. But I expected them to pop, so I just squeezed them until they squished. <laughs> that came open. Now, apparently, there's a trick to this, and I don't know it. It's either this brand or there's a trick to it. Yeah, there's got to be like a, a, a like a fancy way to do this. Yeah, don't pull the corners there. There's supposed to be little triangles. I made them. You made them like is, is very it a cute or an obtuse? I try whatever. It's, it's a math thing. So once you get these out, you need to take one or two pieces of meat and kind of put them towards the middle of your triangle and a piece of the cheese. Now you can roll it easier if there's less cheese, or you take the cheese and break it down. You take it and roll it just like you're rolling a. Uh, uh, Crescent roll? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crescent roll. Uh, or like your own cigarette or whatever you're doing. Who rolls cigarettes anymore? A lot of people, man. Those, all those really? shops go over where they got those big pongs and stuff that are for tobacco smoking only. I haven't seen anybody roll so, a cigarette in years. No, my, my squire did it for a long time because it was cheaper that way. And then you turn the corners because it looks fancy. It looks like a crescent roll that way. So always roll it from the long edge and roll it towards the center point there. Trying to do some repairs there. Yeah, I had a corner that kind of came off. Now, at the end, we only used like one piece of ham, but you can do two, and then I kind of doubled up on the cheese when I broke it down. It makes it get in there, but it doesn't hold the roll any better. When we're talking about using toothpicks. You can probably soak them in water so they don't burn. Mm -hmm. Do that, but you roll it over where it's hitting on the side, you're fine. Now, this is your butter. So you're only going to use three. Three. And people want to ask, it always just tells you how many tablespoons are on the side of it. So we're going to use three. Just cut it down there. Don't cut your finger off. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> I don't have insurance. Save me, Bernie. So, uh, get it here. Pull the butter off. It's going to be a little soft, usually. Now, if you don't want to just sit around and breathe on it hard, you can put it in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds. Keep an eye on it. Let it boil over. If there's little pieces in there. Don't it'll worry melt. About it. Just let it sit. Now, get your garlic powder. Put it in there. Just a little bit. Make Aww. sure to season a spoon just for Jack. Man, that's cool. <laughs> you get your parsley. Go ahead and put your parsley because that's the part that looks cool. <laughs> and it gets gummed up and pulls out. Now, oregano, only put a little bit. Like three flakes <laughs> worth. <laughs> but it can overpower stuff in your basil, put it in there. Stir it up a little bit, and now the best way to do it is if you have one of these rubber brush things. Yeah, you can right. see here in a second. So go ahead and preheat your oven at 375. Yes. I think there's instructions on the croissant, but that's how we put it in. So that's preheating, set them aside, pull them over here. Boom. Now you take this butter, and you can use a spoon. But this little rubbery brush thing. Oh, oh, this oh, works oh, a lot oh. better. Works pretty good. Use your fake hand. Don't burn your hand. I always get in the thing. It's like I don't want to touch it unless I'm wearing that. Despite if it's hot or it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> just get in the use. It's kind of like washing your hands even though you don't need to. And then just brush this on. Now you're going to have a lot more of this if you use our stuff than that one roll is going to have. So you just kind of make sure everything's got a coat. It made it taste really good. And just pour the rest. <laughs> yeah, be it, careful. It, butter it, it was like that. There's like a lot of butter there. And then you put it in there for eight to twelve minutes. Now do you like this? You want it like a golden brown, which looks nice. Pull them out, and these are done, man. This costs nothing. Was super cheap. You know, uh, it fed you know three or four of us easy. If you're into American cheese, I'm not a giant fan. Like I love to try it with the yeah, other that stuff, like we're talking about. That American cheese does not melt properly. It kind yeah. of does that. <laughs> I don't know if it's cheese or just cheese-like product. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. 
So there you have it, man. It's not pretty. It's like me. It's not pretty, but it does the job ladies so it's outstanding it's super cheap super easy man this is something you can teach your kids and they can make you breakfast in bed for mother's day or just on a weekend like i used to do when i was a kid this is perfect if you do it different or you or we did it wrong and you want to tell us because i think everybody wants to correct us more than tell us how they do it feel free to put it down in the comments man we'll read it we might revisit this later and try it with something else like maybe something like turkey or something man that sounds great or ooh, pepperoni and mozzarella oh I got an idea. Jack, we need to do the thing. <laughs> all right. So until we get that one done, remember you can find us on YouTube all the time, but we upload Tuesdays and Fridays. Sometimes we got some bonus videos in there. Check out our popcorn rant. Probably put a link down to doobly doo for that. That's my personal thing. If not, you can find us on Facebook at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen there, on Instagram at Living Between, or on Patreon and Pinterest at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen there. And we'll see you next time.